how to put on angle beads. I'm going to show you how I fix my angle beads on to original existing plaster and the way I go about it, the tools used, the materials and all the tips and tricks. So let's get to it. Right, so let's talk about the tools that we're going to need for the job ahead. So obviously to cut the beads we need some tin snips to measure out. We're going to need a tape, measuring tape. You may need a hammer to you know, tack a few bee pins on or whatever just to hold it steady or remove nails and just a rough bits of paint and stuff. So obviously you're going to need a, a hop and trowel to apply the, the finish to the corner, the plaster to the corner, so that you can fix the bead. Um, obviously we're going to need a bucket of water and stuff for mixing up. Um, we're going to need a trowel um, for, you know, you can mix up small badges for sticking beads. Um, but we're going to need a trowel to take it out of the bucket or off the board, whatever, whatever way you're doing it. Um, you're going to need something to mix up with, um, whether it be the trowel or the drills, as they turn up to themselves. You're going to need a roller to apply the PVA. And obviously now we're going to need levels. And I've got two different types of levels here. So I'm pretty sure that's the tool. The only thing else we might need would be a uh, hop up um, just to, to get up high so we can see how level straight we are. Right, so a uh, quick run around the materials we're going to need. So, firstly, we're going to need the PVA, the old plaster, so that the new plaster bonds to it. So, I'm using this one, not particularly loving this one. Um, quite dear as well, but basically this one doesn't have great instructions for plastering. So anyway, you're going to need PVA, then you're going to need plaster, um, and this one I'm just using Carlite, versatile finish coat for a wide range of backgrounds. So funny enough, it still says sand and cement. But everybody's asked me what's, what plaster I'm using. This is the plaster I've been using. Now it is the same as multi finish, only better. And um, obviously then now we're gonna need the beads. I'm using these beads guys. And um, <coughs> these beads put on about a three mil coat. So they do when they're stuck. They put on a three mil coat. Not, not very heavy at all, just perfect for what we need. Now, you can also use these beads, the exact same methods apply. So, I'll maybe stick this one on and that one on just to show that it's the exact same. Again, these thin coat beads are about 3mm depth. I do find the, the, wetter, or the, the more messy ones a bit easier to work with and a wee bit better. So, that's the materials out of the way. Let's get on to the preparation. So every job needs some pre preparation guys. And if you look closely here, there's some wallpaper on, which I've already wet it down with my brush. I'm gonna give it a little quick one here just to make sure. So big rule in plastering guys is you cannot plaster over wallpaper. That's a big no-no. If you do, it'll get damp and it'll fall off. So get it scraped off. Me bought my child in here right now. Put it down. If you wet it a good enough times, the paper comes off handy enough and look on the most. Guys, I find um, you can get some of the, the paste off as well. 
don't really want me passing over the paste as well. It doesn't it doesn't go very well at all. Um, so now that we've got that done, I'm just going to check the bottom. So there's a couple of nails there. just to hold your, your beads in place if, if they're bad bad shape and they're heavy. A couple of beaten tacks in either side sometimes gets you out of a lot of money. First things first, finish up your corner. Right. You can use a tape and go tape it. But for the, the legs of this top one here, I'm going to just offer the bead up. Corner to corner. Snips. And I've cut my thumb exactly where I need to cut and simply snip, snip. Now, what I like to do guys is see these corners. I like to measure them. That way. And what, what that matter does is Sometimes when these beads are being stored, they bend like that, and you, you can get them back in, but you can see there, you know, sometimes you'll, you'll miss, and they'll, bend, they'll flick away out, they could bend bad, so basically when you measure that, it'll, it will eliminate the bad bend. See? So what I'm doing now is my PVAs, it's it's very nearly there, so I'm just gonna cut all my beads ready. I have my, my station set up for mixing here. So that's gonna fit lovely. Um, so I've got all my station fitted really really well, so ready for the mix. So just gotta cut your beads ready. Um, when you're going down the skirting, you can allow sort of, you know, you can allow three mil or sorry, three inches or so. Again, I made it a speed as well. Makes for a better joint as well. A more seamless trowel. Go ahead, man, at the bottom. See, you can see what I'm talking about about the shape. Cleans it up nicely. So, so now I'm set up. I just need to get my mix on. So now I've got my my mix ready. 
away guys. I'm just about to apply the beads that I previously cut. I want to check, see where it's bad, where it's good, you know. Give your corners a wee check and see how bad they are, where you might need to apply extra finish to. The top's not great. Um, very bad bump, bad blow too. But the sides, the sides not too bad. Right, so I've just checked everything. Applied my toes. So I'm ready to go to start applying the plaster. I'm going to do this head first. And all you do, guys, is just offer the plaster up to the edge here. You can hold the rule on. Or a level and work off the level. But I find this is the easiest way when the corners aren't just too bad and it's bad. You will need to use a level, spark level. Get it straight. So, for this, for this top one, I'm going to go ahead and use this type of beading. You've got two beads on the go here. So, Stuff it up guys, press it in. It will sit there, It'll stay there on its own. No problems, but here's the most important part. Getting it straight. So, get her plumb, make sure there's... Needs up that side, right on this side. So basically, Putting your level on, you're getting their plumb. Well, on this occasion, it's plumb this way, that way. So, I'm getting it plumb, but I'm also looking for gaps. I'm looking for gaps along, you know, if that there is the way it is, then it's banged up until it's plumb. So, you want to get it tight to the level as possible. So, that's my head set, guys. So, use the way I clean off the excess here, show that. So now for the side one here, for the side bead, see it again, load up our hawk. And get the plaster on the corner. Now I know this corner, I checked this corner isn't as bad as the head was, so it's going to be even easier to set. I'm nice and flush, but there was this was in as you can see there. All you gotta do is just get it out. That's it. Now I press in, check up the other road again, and voila, you've got a nice straight corner. That's good. As you can see, guys, how my meters work here nice and flush. You can you know feel it. Get it nice and flush, and that's the way. That's how, how your travel runs smooth around that. So, but now that I've got everything all 
all plumbed up here with um, my two different levels. I've plumbed it that road and I plumbed it that road. And I'll always do it both ways, both sides, guys. So what you want to do now is see the excess plaster. Don't, you do not want that hanging over the plaster because it'll come all over the bead and it'll ruin your finish. So what what you gotta do here is just gently clean it off with the trowel. You can that's a real good example there. See the way that's all over proud. So gently, nice and flush in, nice and flush in, nice and flush. Same on. The solid beads, the thin coat beads from I think nearly everywhere sells these ones. Again, it's just really go along. You get the picture, get it nice and clean, and that will have the beads on nice and tight. So there's only one more thing left to do, guys. And that is clean your bead. Okay, clean that bead off. See it on top. Nice and clean. And once you get that clean, guys, you want to go ahead and key. You want to key everything the same way I do with the sealants. You can see that will give a nice grip. A lovely little bit of grip on that that plaster that we've just balled it on. And guys, that's that's hard done. That is how you stick the beads on. I'm looking forward to hearing all the comments.